WNWO's Kelly Hydrator was the MC for today's event. In between introducing the different rock bands, she took time to visit with Patrick House. He is the 2010 winner on the hit NBC show Biggest Loser. House lost 200 pounds, and Kelly asked him about Michigan being the latest stop on his cross-country tour. To be here and to see this part of the country and to see the people and realize that you know, hey, everybody's a lot like me where I'm from. And it's just it's fun to be here to see people and to try to share my message of what I've done on The Biggest Loser and that you know inspiring people to begin their own weight loss journey. House took time to talk to people at the jam, just as he does around the country, about his incredible story of hard work and perseverance. You know, I tell them it's, I lost 202 pounds in those six months on The Biggest Loser, and I'm going all over the country now sharing my message, doing motivational speaking and appearances, and I'm really trying to stay on top of my weight loss. I want to show the country that, yes, I lost the weight, but more importantly, I'm able to keep it off, and I'm working at keeping it off. Ron Hemmelgaard, an integral part of WNWO's Biggest Loser series, helped organize the Monroe County Jam and says this year's event has special meaning more than just a, a music concert, it's also just to remember what happened 10 years ago. It changed all of our lives uh, forever. And uh, so we're going to, again, just pay tribute to those people that lost their lives and, and all the, the firemen and the police department and everybody that uh, was involved to bring it back. Some visitors to the jam learned for the first time about an organization called Mikey's Minutes. It was established by Julie Ingram in honor of her son Mikey, who died on the field of battle in April 2010. Mikey's a hero in everybody's eyes, not only ourselves, because he was our boy, but he's a hero in everybody's eyes. And he told us, don't forget about me. Don't let anybody forget about me. Donations to Mikey's Minutes enable soldiers overseas to be able to call their families back home in the States. We've sent to date 39,100 minutes to our troops. So it's, it's huge, it's huge. It's all, you know, why do our troops have to pay to call home? We don't know. But we want them all to call home on Mikey's minutes.